Now, military families are upset after the Virginia Senate failed to do anything yesterday during a special session. Good evening, I'm Regina Mobley. And I'm Stephanie Hudson. They gaveled in for hours to address changes recently made to the Virginia Military Survivors and Dependents Education Program, but instead did nothing. New at 530, Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander has reaction from lawmakers. After leaving the public waiting, the Senate Finance and Appropriations Committee started its meeting an hour and a half late only for the committee's Democratic chairwoman to tell the public they wouldn't be considering any bills, leaving military families feeling tricked. I'm really mad. I'm livid. It's ridiculous. Tonight, tensions boiling over after the Democratic-controlled Virginia State Senate failed to take any action on bills to repeal recently made changes to the Virginia Military Survivors and Dependents Education Program. We wasted a bunch of taxpayer money coming down here with our thumbs up our butt, getting nothing done. Despite support from Republicans and even some in her own party, Senate Finance and Appropriations Committee Chair Louise Lucas decided there would be no debate on repealing language, making the program that waives college tuition for the kids and spouses of qualified disabled military veterans harder for families to access. I took a day out of my life, I took a day out of my child's life to be here, as did many of my friends, as did a lot of our supporters, and to be shuttled back and forth and, oh, it's not going to be heard, and it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Lucas telling reporters the bills didn't get heard because there was still more work to be done on them, even though a bipartisan majority of senators supported fully repealing the recent changes. What's the message to the families that were here today who didn't think that they got a fair hearing? Well, we, we, we want to make sure that they do get a hearing. We want them to know that we've been listening to them all the time. I want to make sure that they understand that we are going to work as hard as we can to make sure that the program is sustainable and that they are grandfathered. Lucas instead opting to form a work group to study the program. However, military families say Lucas's actions speak louder than her words. What does it mean when you say, we'll take you standing up for us. We'll take you putting your lives on the line. We'll break your bodies, we'll harm your families, and we'll take all your sacrifices but when it comes to stand up for you, we won't do it. And now the House of Delegates is set to return to Richmond on June 28th, where it's expected that they'll repeal the changes recently made to the program. Any bill would then have to go back to the Senate, where it could face the same hurdles it faced yesterday. At the State Capitol, I'm Tyler Englander.